the drive through at um, Starbucks, I want you all to see what day two looks like. So this is day two. Now the only thing that I've noticed differently compared to when I first got them done is that it's healing like a normal tattoo. And the reason I say that is because they're itchy. Like they're so itchy. Um, I haven't applied any Aquaphor. You're not supposed to apply Aquaphor today, today three. So yeah, this is day two. All right, guys. So we are on day three. Day three is the day that you will begin to apply your Aquaphor. Um, I would advise you to use your or you i would advise you to use a q-tip to apply it so you're just going to like push it out the cube that way that way you're not you know touching your brows with your fingertips my hands are clean i just wash them just a you know sanitizing down or whatever but you know you never want to be too careful with healing brows, okay? Or anything that, you know, is healing. So you're just going to add it to your brows. I'm watching YouTube videos and, and things of that nature and people say that their brows have started to peel on a certain day, but so far, Mines have not. I'm not sure if they would peel or going across my fingers that they don't and they continue to heal beautifully. They are still like kind of hard, like hard to touch. So yeah, that lets you know that they are still healing. They would be like, you know, natural and skin like I'm sure when they heal. But yeah, so like I said, day three is when you will apply or start to apply your aquaphor every single night. You're going to apply the aquaphor every single night. So, start. hey guys. Um, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I woke up this morning and it was hoarse. I don't know. But we are on day four. Um, what I noticed this morning is that the front of my brows are softening up. Like you can really see the ombre is, it's in formation, okay? Let's just say that it's in formation. As you can see right here, then you can see it right here. Um, so that's the only difference between this morning and yesterday. It's crazy how this stuff is happening. Like, <laughs> like right overnight and I'm not even feeling nothing. But um, yeah. That's what we're working with for day four. Um, you're still supposed to use your aquaphor all the way from days three to four. I don't really have to show you. I don't really have to show me doing that every single day. I feel like that's redundant. But yeah, this is what we're working with. And that's it. Like I said, the only thing you see is the ombre effect starting like right at the at the beginning of my bra. Still no peeling. Mm, still no peeling, so I'm very excited about that. Hi guys, so it is day six. Day five, I really didn't do any blogging because there wasn't a big difference between day four and day five. The peeling is definitely happening. You can see it right there. I haven't applied my Aquaphor, but I'm about to. Usually if it's peeling in the morning, I don't like that look. I mean, nobody likes that look. So the Aquaphor is gonna be a best friend because it's gonna help mask it. So, this is what we're dealing with with day six. Oh man. But other than that, they're gonna get. Other than that, that's day six. 
Hi guys, so it is day 10. You haven't seen me for three days, okay? You didn't see me for day seven, day eight, nor day nine. Nothing really happened. Um, On day six, that was the only day that I had a lot of peeling. Once I applied the Aquaphor and all of that good stuff, the peeling stopped, so on, <laughs> it just stopped. So on day seven, day eight, and day nine, this is like, where we are during those three days today is actually day 10 but during those three days they were actually becoming like brows they're very soft they're more soft now than they were when i got them you still see there's still probably a little bit more harshness right here and right here that's probably gonna subside that's what was going on during those three days like you can just slowly see them um softening up and becoming less like bold and less harsh now on day 10 they are becoming more um more soft more natural looking they're very like i said they feel like brows now you couldn't really like i couldn't really touch them um at first because they were very hard like right after but this is what we're working with now so the aquaphor is making them look very very shiny from far back so i'm going to give you a closer look at how they're looking all right and this day too hi guys so it has been about ooh, <laughs> a long time about two months since i have updated well since i picked up the camera to give you an update but this is what we're working with it's now day 45 so this is what we're working with they are absolutely beautiful i just recently um scheduled my follow-up appointment around the 45 day mark your brow tech is going to want to um for you to come in so she can see or she's going to ask you to send her a picture here she's going to ask you to send a picture or anything of how they're looking so if there's anything that's like oh wow i need to try to correct that they're going to want you to come in but because my brow tech was freaking amazing i don't have to worry about that like immediately but i do have a follow-up appointment coming in um like later october but that's just regular maintenance while you do have um, powder ombre brows is something that you're going to have to also set aside money for because you're going to have to go in for follow up uh, touch up so that's my first follow up touch up is going to be later October because mine did heal beautifully I did experience all of the feeling that I thought that I wasn't going to experience I end up experiencing it I was supposed to update you guys a long time ago but yeah life has happened Ooh, child i'm gonna explain everything in the upcoming vlog um this is not the place for it so yeah um one of uh, the things that i will tell you as time progresses with your powder ombres uh powder ombre um uh eyebrows you're gonna have to uh invest in a shaper and they're like when i say invest i'm talking like 50 cent or a dollar not really that expensive at the local beauty supply because hair is going to um excess hair is going to grow on the outside of the outline and all you have to do is just remove the excess hair with that um the eyebrow shaper and it's the fact that you have a tech 2 outline now is going to make it easy for you to see exactly what you need to trim off when the pandemic hit and salons were not open and i was still doing you know filling my brows i had to figure out a way to do this so what i did was i would fill my brows and then like the excess hair i just started to get familiarize myself with using a shaper um, last year so I'm really good at it now but yeah this is how they're looking let me make sure you can actually see they are very skin like y'all they were so hard when I first got them done but they're very skin like like I can do this now you can wash it I mean it's been almost two months but you can wash your face you can do anything um I stopped using the um aquaphor around the 15th day like around the second week mark i stopped using it every single day but i do try to nourish them and make sure that they're not um drying out like once a week i would put the aquaphor on there i don't overdo it but yeah y'all this is pretty much it 
I love my brows. I am so excited, y'all, because I have time to actually get out the house in the morning. Y'all, this is the best. Not having to feel your brows every single day. I'm just excited that I got them done. I love how they look. I love the color. They're not too toned. And like I said, my brow tech is the best. I'm going to leave her information. Hopefully, if I'm not too tired and I <laughs> edit that that information is on the screen. So yeah, if you are in Memphis, please go and book with my girl. She is the absolute best. Use my code Quandra when you book. Other than that, these are absolutely amazing. Yeah, I can't stop looking at them because they're just, oh my God, it's just amazing what, you know, how far makeup has evolved. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that's all I have for you all today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out of here. Like this video on your way out as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.